So this is Path to Manliness, and I'm thinking I'm going to start making some YouTube videos and start growing that channel. Um, I haven't really taken the time to make any serious content on there, but I've got a few subscribers that have been following the bullshit that I've been posting, which originally was supposed to kind of supplement the uh, website, but it seems it's too intensive to maintain, and it's honestly, it's boring, so if I'm not adding value, I have no interest in doing it, and originally this whole path to mainly this thing was just a bit of a fun thing to do on the side where I could speak my mind uncensored and uh, just share my thoughts, but it's grown a lot faster than I ever anticipated. So about three months in now and we're nearing 3,000 followers, but more importantly, the subject at hand here, Twitter suspended my account for 12 hours for a really dumb comment. You can look it up on my webpage um, on pathtomanliness.com. I don't even remember exactly what I said, but something along the lines of this type of behavior is endemic with sluts or some, it was incredibly innocent and it wasn't really even directed at anyone so much as the behavior of a certain person i did reply to some blue check mark asshole on twitter so i'm sure they reported it and all twitter accounts are not created equally blue check marks and people who lean to the left are clearly shown favoritism over a smaller accounts or anyone who doesn't fit into the Silicon Valley's perfect ideology. So I'm not upset. I don't give a shit. You know, it's only another nine more hours. My account will be back online, I assume. And going forward, I'll probably say the same shit, but... I'll do my best to avoid some of these bigger blue checkmark accounts because I have no interest in them anyway. They're a waste of time. So maybe I'll continue to do more videos here. Um, I've begun fleshing out my Instagram account a little bit, although I, I don't like it. Um, I'm more into sharing my thoughts and Twitter is better for that. So uh, I prefer to write. My website's good for that, but I, I also can tell by the impressions on Twitter and my traffic on my website that although I'm getting pretty steady traffic online, the Twitter is where most of the traffic is, so I'll continue to use that. Plus, I, I like the, the bite-sized pieces, but th this censorship is just, it's getting out of hand. You know, it started out um started out recently with Alex it didn't really start with Alex Jones but it's it's kicked off a notch with Alex Jones where all the different accounts uh, Facebook Twitter um, Apple podcasts they all took down Alex Jones in one fell swoop and there really wasn't much protest or argument or no one seemed to give a shit because Alex Jones is just that crazy conspiracy theorist water filter salesman right so if they can go after him and there isn't much of anything to be said then they're going to go after the next account which uh amazon has chosen to go after roosh and um you know he's he's had his share of criticism for shit that he probably didn't even do so whatever um i don't fully know that story i've been reading his book and i'm getting caught up on it but I'll be honest, I'm kind of behind on that one, but I'm inclined to think that he pissed off some people with his writing and the content that he's saying, so they went after him and they created these false allegations and harassed him just to silence him. And that's what's happening here. Um, not that I'm significant yet, but they're silencing me and they're silencing other accounts and they're doing it more and more. I can see it with the people that are unfollowing me. Most of them aren't really unfollowing me. They're getting suspended or closed or, or have their accounts closed down. So it's, um, it's a brave new world. And 
no one seems to know what to do, how to stop this. It's Silicon Valley's grown too big, too powerful. It's where the masses are. You know, I had a, I had someone that uh, I hang around tell me that if they wanted to, they could, uh, they could close down Donald Trump's account. Technically, Twitter has that power, but if they did, he'd move to a different medium, maybe Gabi or however that's pronounced, or something like that. And then, what happens to all the Twitter followers? A chunk of them, I don't know how many, would follow him because he's a big deal, and it's, they can't go after an account that big. But the fact that they've taken down someone like Alex Jones and gone after Roosh in this modern day book burning shows the audacity they have to trample on constitutional rights of free speech and expression, freedom of the press. Like it or not, Alex Jones is the press. And um, it also shows their desperation. Donald Trump was a shock to a lot of these people, even though their hatred of him stems more from their own creation of this fake person in their mind than the actual real Donald Trump um, but the fact that he won shows that they aren't as powerful as they, as they once thought they were and it's been a culture shock for a lot of them hence the Trump derangement syndrome bullshit pussies but whatever so it's just it's one more big step towards uh a technocratic world where we didn't elect these people and they're they're writing their own constitution it doesn't exist but they have their their guidelines they have their rules that we click and accept you know those 57 pages of legalese that everyone just checks and moves on so they can use their their service but it's it's a dangerous world because not only are they censoring accounts but people are altering their behavior in a form of sense self-censorship by being aware of what they say and trying not to get the attention they don't want to say something that's going to piss too many people off because they may get suspended censored or have their account locked down so um anyway that's my thoughts on that so it's not going to change the way I think. Maybe it'll change where I say certain things. I guess the one thing I did wrong, I suppose, if anything, I, I did nothing wrong. I'll maintain that. But the one thing I'll change is I won't go after these blue checkmark assholes because fuck them. I'm not going to give them the attention they deserve anyway. So from here forth, I'll you know try to stick a little closer to the manosphere. But if I got shit to say, I'm still going to say it. I'll just say it without replying to these guys. And uh, I've, I've said way worse than the tweet that I got suspended for, so I, the issue isn't what I said. And uh, I'll save my more aggressive stuff for the, the emails. So if you want to subscribe to my email list, go check out pathtomanliness.com. You can find it on there. It's pretty easy to find. And um, I'll start using those and saying the more harsh stuff since if you're going to follow me on email, you probably like my shit anyway. And then uh, I'll keep writing my articles. And that's been good. So, I don't give a shit. So, I've been busy today anyway. I had a quick little workout this morning. And had some Fiverr uh, clients send me some things to do today. So, I've been helping a couple of people on editing some work they're doing. Helping them a little copywriting. And then uh, another guy who's been apparently starting some sort of a, a media company I'm, I'm not sure exactly what so he claims it's going to be a mix between BuzzFeed and Vice which I'm assuming he'll lean more right than BuzzFeed so it might be worth checking out but I'll be sure to let you know on that one uh, but the the site continues to grow the account is clearly growing so I guess uh, I guess the world's going to have to tolerate some more toxic masculinity but I'll continue to to write and um this video came out a little quicker and easier than i anticipated i didn't know if i could 
talk for this long, but uh, it was pretty easy to to hit 10 minutes, and I don't want to go much past that, so I think I'm going to wrap it up. But I'll continue to do these. This is actually funner than I expected. I thought this was going to be a a one and done, but uh, I'll make more, and um, we'll keep going. So look for more content from Path to Manliness here. So Ryan Feldman, signing out.